Always wanted to do that. <laughs> so, what do we have before us? We have a, I would guess, 2005, 2006, yeah, early to mid 2000s, uh, Cannondale Synapsis aluminium frame, nine speed Sora group set. Not 100% about the crank, to be honest. I can't see because my eyes are terrible. If I say crank, I knew I was right. This is where I suddenly see it. So, yeah, it says it there. <laughs> it's an, you can just make it out, actually, now I look at it. It's a FSA Vero crank, so I was right, it's a part Sora group set. I knew, I knew it didn't look like a Shimano uh, thing, that. So this is uh, one of the members' bikes again. Uh, it's not somebody who's come to the club before, so welcome. Um, Matilda. Um, she's a... Really competitive triathlete, really good runner, dragon boater, really good athlete. So it's it's good that we've got her bringing bringing her bikes here. Um, uh, so what's the story behind this one? She needed a bike for a turbo. She bought this. I don't know whether she bought it on Facebook or from eBay or something. Um, the, the bloke was trying to tell her it was a new bike. It's obviously not a new bike. Um, and it was making out is a lot newer than it was. It's not, uh, even, even Matilda's were, um, even Matilda, that's really disingenuous. Matilda's, Matilda herself's worked out that um, it's quite an old bike as well. I think it's got a date on it somewhere un underneath there. Um, so it, yeah, it's an older bike. It's rim brake. You can tell by the age of the components. The fact it's got, it hasn't got the lever there. It's got the, the buttons up there. Uh, for the Shimano stuff. Um, yeah, the bloke was being a bit arsy and I think he, um, she kind of just wanted to um, just take the bike and bail on it. But the bike has got some issues, apparently. So we're going to get an M, M check. Between us, we've had a chat about it and I'm pretty sure I know what the crack is with it. And it's probably nothing wrong with the bike, but there are some problems with the bike. So which um, Matilda wouldn't have spotted anyway and just adds to my fact that I think he was taking the piss. I don't want to say too much. I don't know what she's paid for it. Um, and I don't want to say what I think it's worth because that's not fair. Um, the deal's between Matilda and the person who sold it and it's up to her to work out whether she, she thinks she's got value for what she's going to do it, for it with anyway. But um, things I've spotted already, the tyres are perished. Um, Possibly the back one's been used on a turbo. Um, it's got signs of an uneven wear, um, a wheel on turbo. They, they are cracked all the way along the top of the tread, they are cracked. So these are, the, these are definitely the original um, tyres. Braking surface, actually it's not too bad. This, I can still get my nail in, in there, there on there. So braking wise, I don't think it's, um, it, it's seen that much action. Um, or it's, it's not had a lot of mileage. What I didn't do the other day was put the chain measure in. Right. So that kind of confirms what I was thinking. The chain's still good. I would put money on that's the original chain. Uh, 2000 and... Yeah, they were using quick links in, in 2006. Or it's had one chain fitted anyway. Um, but... There you go. Um, cables look in good condition. All the ends are in place. That one's possibly could do a being bent. There's signs that this has been adjusted and somebody's pulled the cable through um, on this one because it's got a clamp there. Um, so that's, that's interesting. Um, just gotta be careful with the back brakes on this one. One thing I haven't done. Um, is give it the full M check so we'll just do that now in fact you probably need to look down for this 
Right, I'll try and keep you in shot for this. I've moved you to the side of the table. So basic M check, we're going to check the front wheel bearings. There's a little bit of movement in the rim there, which there shouldn't be, which again suggests it's been ridden on the road. It's just a very slight knock. Again, this has been bought to go on a turbo. I don't know if I mentioned that. So she bought it because she wants to put it on a turbo. I'll explain more in a minute because that, that'll, that'll, that'll lead you. It's got quick release brakes. Brakes are working okay. Seem to be reasonably well centred as well. Wheels are running true. There's a little bit of noise on that but I think that's more the, uh, the cables. Headset bearing, good. Um, right, moving down to the bottom bracket. Can't feel anything there. Brakes, uh, the pedals are Shimano, but we've got to break these off. Don't let me forget to do that, because she's going to put look pedals on it. Saddle is loose, we need to do something about that, so I will level the saddle up um, when it's down on the ground so that she can just move it up and down. She might want to put a lady's saddle on it. Um, back wheel, little bit of play there, but it's a cup and cone bearing, I think, so that's okay. Again, there's a small amount of, ooh, oh, what was that? Oh my word. That's got quite a big egg in it. So let me just slacken that off. You you put you won't be able to see this. But um that wheel's got quite a big buckle in it. Um the problem is it's a buckle doing that as well. Again, it doesn't necessarily matter because she's bought it for a turbo bike. Um, the, but that will be a bit of a problem for the wheel on. Uh, yeah, we need to sort that out. Uh, gear wise, right, so this is the bit we haven't checked yet. So this is what she was reporting. She was reporting that the gears weren't working. How did I get this up here? Come on, in you go. I lied, you might as well watch this because you can watch me struggling with the new tool that we've got to learn how to use. I'm guessing there's a right and a wrong way to hold it. And one way I'll bite down and the other way won't. So, that needs to undo that way around. So I'm guessing that it's going to be something like that. This is just going to be so much easier. Oh, look at that. That's so much better than a chain whip. I counted on it on here. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It is an eleven. And well, as I carry on watching there, uh, where's the big boy? There's the big bastard. So you come off. There we go. She is. Shove them on the top there. Brand spanking new nine speed. Where's the big one? There's the big one. Now, I don't know if I need an adapter on this. I suspect I do. Yes, I do. So we've got to go and grab an adapter. Now then, which adapter will do? I think that's an adapter. And it fits. It 
fit fits, I oh, sits. Oh, that's looking good. It's not one of the it's not one of my new adapters. I've got a couple of these, but um, I keep lending them to people. And this this is one I've just recovered from another one. So I don't mind giving that one to Matilda because flip it over this time. There is a limit to how many this can do. So you've got to, it's got to go somewhere in the middle. That's it. Doesn't make much noise that park tool one. That's a great tool. Builders bike in. Happy if I put that through with the adapter in the right place. Don't even know what size adapter we need for Matilda's bike. I haven't had really had a bike of this age on mine. Right. One of my favourite things to do in the whole wide world is to put a bike on a turbo train, especially first thing in the morning when you're clean. That's loose as well. So that's something else I've just spotted. I need to have a look at that. The uh, um, the hanger is loose in the frame. When you catch it, it, it cranks over. Right. Do you like Do you like the orange kicker? <coughs> I do. Right. So I've got a couple of things to do quickly before we do anything else. I've got to sort this saddle out. Uh, I think it's a five. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a six. That's a five. That's a six. God, I'm Bennett. Right. We on some hundred C. That saddle's not level. I'm in your way, aren't I? All right, so that's wants to be about there, hopefully. No, nope, that needs to come off again. It's still not quite right. This saddle, this uh, this saddle mechanism on this saddle post is not the. It's one of those ones where you've got to put it pointing upwards, and as soon as you tighten it up, it pulls it back down again. All right, that's almost where it should be. That's better. All right. 
uh, pedals as well. We've got to crack these pedals off. So we are uh, left, right, so there should be a normal thread. So that needs to go off that way. Oh, don't be like this. Okay, fortunately these are older pedals so they do, I can thought it had moved then but it hadn't. There we go. Yeah so those pedals have been over tightened. Hopefully the threads aren't gone. But again let's uh, let's experiment let's find out from Matilda if she's got anything else she needs to complain about. So so far actually that's been greased so that looks like it's been well maintained. Right these are opposite thread so I need to go as if I'm tightening them up because it's the left hand side certainly getting good news out of the new hammer Don't know why I fully undid the other one. All I wanted to do was just crack them off to make sure they did come out and the threads weren't knackered. Because what I didn't want to do is get Matilda down here, put her pedals on, and then find out that um, we couldn't get these off and they were mullered and she needed to go back to the bloke and say the threads have gone. So no, all's good. All's good. Right then. So should be able to test this now. What are you looking at? <coughs> Can I get a sneaky picture? Sneaky video? I think we'll need to Right The saddle's a bit low for me fine on there so we know it'll work when uh, when the turbo comes and that'll work straight away with uh, that one cool I need to run that turbo I'm not sure whether the bearings are going on it it definitely sounds a little bit uh, noisy it could just be the uh, the belt is a little bit noisy. I don't think there's any play. I don't know where the bearings go in these to be honest. I would have thought they would have gone in this. 
No, they feel fine. I probably just want my mucky pinky prints all over that now. Uh, no, so I think that's uh, that one's done. It's going to be a short one, this one. Uh, nothing to really do. Everything's uh, everything's fine. Wish well, it were all that easy. But I've still got a bike fit to do on this one. Uh, and we don't, I don't video the bike fits and if I did the bike fits would probably be going on the TriFit channel anyway. So don't forget I do have another channel for my coaching side of things. Uh, TriFit coaching. Um, and orange is the fastest colour. Um, it's coming to the end of the season now so life is getting a little bit easier. Most of the age group stuff's now done and out of the way. I've just got one more athlete that's got a qualification race coming up soon. And possibly one of the uh, one of the age group athletes that's already qualified won his age group. Well done, Dave. Um, uh, he's was also planning on qualifying in the uh, mountain bike off road duathlon, uh, which is coming up. December time, which might, I might also do that race, but I'm obviously nowhere near anywhere that we'd even consider qualifying. Um, but he's got an injury at the moment, so he may or may not. So life's quite quiet on the on the athlete front at the moment. We've just finished long course weekend, so they're they're all out of the way. My cousin's done Copenhagen. She did absolutely fantastically, so I'm after, absolutely chuffed to bits. Uh, the, the, the partner couple that I coached for long course weekend they've had a fantastic weekend slight disappointment for one of them that she didn't get all four medals but absolutely brilliant result otherwise it's a, it was a tough day anyway right enough waffling about tri-fit we ought to do some tri-fit stuff um, so again like and subscribe um, Fairly straightforward one, this one. You've got to see a turbo setting up, what you need to do. So you do need these. So if you've got an 11 speed cassette and you are, oh, I lost it. I only had it two minutes ago. And I literally keep them in this, this drawer here. So I have no idea where I've put that down. It's probably on the floor somewhere. Or did I chuck it? knows where I threw it. I'll find it. It'll be in. Um, it's a washer. Looks very similar to one of those but a bit thinner. Uh, they're, they're about just over a, they're about one point something millimeters thick. It goes on the back of the cassette and it stops the cassette from going all the way up. Uh, there's a second indent. Some of the some of them have something there that blocks a nine speed cassette but doesn't block uh it doesn't block an 11 speed cassette so the 11 speed cassette will go all the way through the nine speed cassette will stop short anyway some of them don't so the the, the wahoos don't um so you've got to put them all the way through it's the 10 speed hubs that will take an 11 speed cassette that haven't got it so that's the difference but they are 11 speed hubs so you have to put the blocker washer in that, that stops the cassette from going all the way up then you can crank down on it and it's fine and when you look down you can actually see there's still some gaps for the cassette to go through um, and they are you can just buy them just look for a uh, um, converter spacer I think they call it um, I do need to find the one I've lost though because um, I've possibly got somebody else coming to coming for one as well so we do need to find it literally had it in my hands two seconds ago I'd normally keep them in this Top, no, it's there, it's on top of the thing. So that's a slightly different one. That's a thicker one, but it's got um, recesses there that allow it to sit back in. So it's it makes the washer itself more beefy because it's thick, but it's thin at that bit because that, that is the bit. It's there, it's about one point something, which if I had a micrometer, I'll tell you exactly how thick it is. Oh no, wait. I do have a micrometer now, don't I? Check it zeroed. I'll tell you exactly how thick the spacer needs to be. Well, hope hopefully I will, because it might not fit in here. I've got to 
cut, try and catch the edge of it. Now I can still see a gap. I, I thought they were about a millimetre. Trouble is I'm trying to catch the, gap, the edge of the metal and I'm actually disappearing into the... Is there a bigger one I can go at? No, they're all the same size. One point two. Yeah, one point two. One point two mil. Yeah, zeroed. Turn that off. A lot of Chinese in that. Digital micrometer didn't cost very much, but it doesn't need to be uber accurate. I only really use it for measuring brake discs and things. So there you go. Uh, a Wahoo kicker on a old style bike. You can do it. Nine speed. Mm -hmm. Three up front. So that makes it three nines. 27 speed. That's more than the 20 speeds they're selling now. Or the 24 speeds. Mm -hmm. well, it's, a massive, it's a bigger overlap, so you probably lose more gears in the overlap. So it's probably equivalent to a 10 speed in the overlap. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, please like and subscribe. It doesn't take two seconds. Press the button. It's, the, it's there or there. And you can watch some other videos there and there or subscribe to the channel over there and find out more about me there. There you go. Quickly, just in case you thought I forgot, um, and the batteries are running out. So hopefully the threads haven't gone. It's just they've worked undone. Yeah, so it looks like it is. It's just worked undone. Might have had a knock. It seems to be running okay though. Right, now jobs are good and... How did that not get in focus? <laughs>